Why did the devil rebel against God? About how they became evil, we only know what has been revealed to us. Saint John testifies in the book of the Apocalypse that there was a battle in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon fought along with his angels, but was defeated, and they lost their place in heaven. Thus the great dragon, that ancient serpent who is called the devil, and Satan who deceives the whole world, was cast out. He was cast out to earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Revelation 127. 10. It is not known about the real reason why Lucifer and his angels rebelled against God. It was probably due to pride. Not conforming to their own limitations as creatures, they wanted to match God. Some of the holy fathers of the church, such as St. Justin, St. Tertullian, St. Cyprian, St. Irenaeus, St. Gregory of Nyssa, teach that they were jealous of man for being created in the image and likeness of God. Or again, when they learned that the Word had decided to become human. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. John 1, 14. In the Old Testament, the devil is mentioned only a few times. However, in the New Testament, it is numerous times, approximately 300. It thus becomes impossible to deny it. As seen, angels are spirit creatures. And while purely spiritual creatures are endowed with intelligence and will, they are personal and immortal creatures. They exceed in perfection all visible creatures. The splendor of his glory attests to this. Catechism 330. If angels are divine creatures, how is it then that the devil exists, since he is evil? According to church teaching, he was, first, a good angel, created by God. In fact, the devil and the other demons were created by God, naturally good, but they, by themselves, became evil. Catechism 391. This constitutes a truth of faith witnessed by sacred scripture and also by apostolic tradition. Why did the devil rebel against God? About how they became evil, we only know what has been revealed to us. Saint John testifies in the book of the Apocalypse that there was a battle in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon fought along with his angels, but was defeated, and they lost their place in heaven. Thus the great dragon, that ancient serpent who is called the devil, and Satan who deceives the whole world, was cast out. He was cast out to earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Revelation 127. 10. It is not known about the real reason why Lucifer and his angels rebelled against God. It was probably due to pride. Not conforming to their own limitations as creatures, they wanted to match God. Some of the holy fathers of the church, such as St. Justin, St. Tertullian, St. Cyprian, St. Irenaeus, St. Gregory of Nyssa, teach that they were jealous of man for being created in the image and likeness of God. Or again, when they learned that the Word had decided to become human. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. John 1, 14.
He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. <laughs> the devil repent? Bearing in mind its existence and knowing the evil it produces in the world, we could ask ourselves, will there be a day when the devil will repent and therefore hell will cease to exist? The Greek writer Origen, who lived in the second century, believed in this possibility of conversion, of conversion of the devil. However, this thesis was condemned by the Synod of Constantinople in the year 543. We could thus ask ourselves, is God really infinitely merciful since he does not forgive the devil? The Catechism answers as follows. It is the irrevocability of his choice and not a failure of God's infinite mercy that renders the angel's sin unforgivable. There is no repentance for them after their fall, just as there is no repentance for men after death. Catechism 393 says the Lord God through the mouth of the prophet Ezekiel. I do not want the death of the sinner, but that he convert and live. Ezekiel 18, 23. The word conversion serves for the human being, however, not for the devil, for several reasons. The first is that man, when sinning, is not fully aware of his sin, unlike the devil, since the latter, being pure spirit, is fully aware of his actions enmity towards God. Another reason is that the devil, due to his pride, does not accept being loved. Forgiveness is man's return to friendship with God. There is no friendship between the Lord and the devil. For such a friendship to happen, it needs a love that is given and another that receives it, that is, reciprocity. Considering that the devil deeply hates God at the same time that he's loved by him, this reciprocity does not happen. Therefore, it cannot be forgiven. What has been said about the devil can also apply to humans. The Catechism says that God created man in his own image and constituted him in his friendship. Spirit creature man can only live see this friendship as free submission to God. And what expresses the prohibition made to man to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? For in the day, you eat from it, you will die. Ye, Gen 217. Catechism 396. Every time we choose evil, we break in some way with God's friendship. In short, the devil cannot be forgiven for having lost his friendship with God. Returning to this friendship only happens through forgiveness. To be forgiven, there must be reciprocity of love, that is, letting oneself be loved. Because the devil does not accept being loved, he can never be forgiven. His option, therefore, becomes irrevocable. If you liked it, subscribe, like, and share this video. Stay with God until the next video.